Welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to create uh, links on our page to basically move about the page. So internal links, uh, basically. And so with this defi definition list here, uh, what I'm going to do is go to File and uh, Preview Real-Time Preview Google Chrome so we can see this in action here. And you'll notice a couple of these have some links. So the Intaglio, if I click on it, what will happen is it'll jump to the Intaglio section, which is down here. If I click on Relief Printing, it'll jump down here to Relief Printing. So how is this working out? Well, first thing you have to understand, in order for this to jump down, there has to be enough text or things like images to bring them down to this section for it to go up to the top. So it is dependent upon your layout. Uh, sometimes it'll kind of just move to the center here if that's all there is, if there wasn't much underneath. So that's why there's all this lorem ipsum text underneath to kind of give the idea. We're going to actually cre create this with the printmaking here and allow it to come down to the printmaking here. So let's see how this works. So back in Dreamweaver here, uh, what we have here is with each of these, there is an anchor tag and they have essentially IDs and the IDs are created on those parts that are wanting to be anchored. So if we scroll down here towards the uh, the bottom here, you'll see that uh, this uh, definition uh, item has a ID of relief and this one has an ID of intaglio. So uh, what we want to do next is click on the printmaking here and make it a uh, an ID. And the ID is a little bit different than class. IDs are very individual and specific. So uh, they're extremely unique. They're case sensitive. That's why I tend to do all lowercase. And um, basically, no numbers, just letters. Uh, and you want it to be uh, really descriptive, basically. So you don't want to do on the H3 tag. Notice this is H3 that's encased in the, um, the definition term. I want it to be in the definition term. So I can hit the edit arrow and go to the definition term here. Then all I do is click on the little plus icon to add a class or ID. And so when I click on that, I get the option to add a class or ID. If I wanted to add a class, you would add a dot and then whatever you want to add. I'm actually adding an ID because I want it to be very specific. I want the items to go to this area. So I'm going to hit the uh, hashtag or uh, pound sign, and then I'm going to call it uh, printmaking, basically. And then once I'm done there, I can hit enter. Now it's going to ask here, do I want to define uh, for CSS or media queries? At this point, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to hit the escape key. And now you can see here it has a unique ID, just like these do. So each of these have a unique ID. And if I hit the up arrow, I can see that it is printmaking. So now to make this work, all I got to do is come up here, select this uh, H2 printmaking, click on the little widget here, and right here it says link, and I can add that link. I can add a uh, hashtag and then printmaking basically. And that's all I gotta do. And then hit enter, and voila, the link is created. And so to test this out, let's go to File, Save, and I already have uh, it open here, so it should refresh. And when I click on printmaking, boom, I'm at printmaking. So it zoomed down just like that, so it works. So let's see how to how to make make this work for another page if we want to navigate to here. So on this page, this index page, I have the word printmaking uh, in this series here. And what if I want that word to be a link that carries over? Well, all I gotta do is highlight that word here, and then down here in the properties, go to the link, which is just the same as uh, click on the little widget, the hamburger widget that we did before, and then. Uh, but the thing is, we can't just add the, the hashtag and the printmaking because this is a different uh, document. It's not in the index document, it's in the definition list document. So what we have to do is click on the file folder here. First go to definition list, which is in the same uh, general location as the index. So I click that and then click OK, and it will add it here. Then I just click right after it, and now I can add the hashtag and then printmaking and then uh, hit enter and there it is and so now you can see that the definition list HTML with the hashtag printmaking and you can see it has turned into a link so let's save all we'll go file save all and then uh, we'll go ahead and file real-time preview go to Google Chrome 
and I'll close the other one out and basically right here click on printmaking and bam there it is printmaking so it works yay <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this uh, it's very fun to create links to navigate to your site it just makes it more interactive more interesting um, have fun with this until next time see you soon in Adobe Dreamweaver CMC cheers